And the state budget deficit just got worse. Revenues are projected to decline by more than $271 million this fiscal year and next. And that is on top of the $405 million shortfall announced back in September. 11 News I team reporter David Collins joins us live from Annapolis with that story. David. Well, Donna, the controller zeroed in on how Maryland uses the feds as an economic crutch. Rather than building a diversified state economy, We've effectively put all of our eggs in one federal basket. State revenue is expected to drop by another $271 million. Income tax projections are falling below expectations. The controller says wages, which represent the oxygen middle class families need to survive, are struggling to keep pace with inflation. The fact remains that we'll only see the economic growth we're accustomed to when we get the private sector economy growing again. In our consumer-driven economy, we'll never build a lasting recovery when consumers don't feel comfortable enough to spend and businesses lack the confidence to hire, invest, and grow. The latest figures make Governor-elect Larry Hogan's budget balancing task even more daunting. He's getting unsolicited advice on how to accomplish it and dire warnings on what should be considered sacrosanct. Uh, what is, uh, the State educators want him to leave K-12 through alone. A flat funding education or changing uh, funding formulas, you would be removing staffing that uh, has helped uh, keep class size low. You'd be removing programs that have helped us narrow achievement gaps. You know, this is about you know, budget change, not budget cuts. They include furloughing state employees, raising state workers' required contributions to health insurance, lower state contributions to pensions, getting rid of state vehicles. Does it make sense to maybe push that off onto a private sector company such as Zip Cars that could provide the cars on demand and all the burden of maintenance, depreciation? Other budget balancing suggestions include raising eligibility requirements for entitlement programs and privatizing some state agencies like DBED. Pushing off some of the costs onto the private sector, more public private partnerships. Uh, we've seen that with a port. A silver lining, sales revenues are trending up thanks to Amazon now taxing Maryland consumers. Meanwhile, the state controller suggests another round of budget cuts using the State Board of Public Works in its January 7th meeting, but doing that would be up to Governor O'Malley. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.